I'm going to demonstrate using assemblies to build a very simple infectious disease model. The steps that I will follow are very similar to the ones that is that are available in the online help. For Stella, if you go to building models and then look at building um, models with assemblies and using an example using assemblies. So they are detailed here. The first thing we need to do in uh, doing this is to make sure that we have the assemblies panel open and to do that I will go to Windows open assemblies panel. That will open it and I will click on the docking tool so it's docked here on the right. Um, I want to set my model to be running from 0 to 100 days that it is helpful to do this ahead of adding any assemblies because units of measure for time will be adjusted as we add the assemblies. So I'm going to go and start with a compounding process and use the example of population for that. Click on add to model. This is going to be the infection rate. Population is going to be the number of infected people and the stock units will be people, which is what we want. I click on OK and then I place that on the model. Move it around if I, a little bit if I want. And we see that infection infected is going up. Let's have 0 0.01 as the infection rate. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So I'll unselect everything, right click on it, suggested equation, and I will say 0.5. And we see if we do that, that infected comes up and becomes a very, very large number. Um, obviously, there aren't really that many people that we can have become infected. So let's put in the susceptible stock. And the susceptible stock will start at 100 um, and then immediately start going down. We started with 100 infected people, so it goes down really fast. So let's right click on that and suggested equation for that might be one. So we start with one infected person and what we see is the number of susceptible people comes down very very quickly but not immediately. Now the infection rate is constant here. Um, let's add in an outflow of people recovering and we will add in a disease duration And I will connect the disease duration and the stock of infected into recovering, which I spelt wrong. Um, it will be um, infected divided by the disease duration. I will fix my spelling here. And um, let's also add in a recovered stock. So, and we should start that recovered stock not at 100, which is its default, but at zero. So here we have a simple model, susceptible infected recover, it's often called the SIR model. The way I'm constructing it here is slightly different from the normal way to do it. But what I want to do is have this adding to infection decrease because susceptible is um, decreasing. And right now it's just being limited by the fact that susceptible is a non-negative stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another assembly. And this assembly is called a dimensionless multiplier. And um, we will select crowding as probably the closest we're going to get for what it applies to here. Click on add to model. Um, the death rate is actually going to be infection rate. The base um, will be the reference. And the characteristic, characteristic will be um, susceptible. I can spell it correctly. Action units here are going to be per day and the characteristic units are going to be people. Click OK. Click on Add to Model. When we do that we can do another little trick here. If we right click on the selected thing there's a flip selection and I'll go top to bottom. And that'll just make it a little easier to um, 
connect the infection rate to the other infection rate. Next thing I'm going to do is make use of the replace variable idea. So holding down the control key, I'll drag infection rate onto infection rate one onto infection rate. It will replace infection rate with infection rate one. Um, and then I'll set this reference infection rate and make it um, 0 0.5. So now we're back to pretty much the same kind of behavior. But we have the effect coming in, which is dependent upon the number of susceptible people. Um, and I've spelt susceptible in two different ways. Um, I'm going to drag the um, one spelling into the incorrectly spelled one and replace it. Spelling isn't really important here. And what happens now is the number of susceptible people is um, being directly connected into the effect. Maximum susceptible comes from three places. It comes from the number of infected people plus the number of recovered people so when I do that, it'll ask me for an equation. I'm going to add them, plus the number of susceptible people. Again, it will ask for an equation. I will add it. Now we have a standard um, model that shows kind of the propagation. And we can see if we go into Explorer mode. And we have uh, the disease duration lasting less time. 100 is actually a pretty long time. We get something that's a little bit more of the type that model that you've seen before um, and at a fairly small disease duration like two we see that we don't actually have an epidemic we have a relatively short-lived um, infection that dies out relatively quickly so that's how you can build a model using assemblies um, in stella this is new with version 3.2